Well, we got to win three ball games. I mean, that's the experience that you draw on. Your season's on the line tomorrow at 1 o'clock. So that's the experience that you draw on is guys have to understand when they come to the ballpark tomorrow that we're fighting for our lives. We're trying to extend our season and that our season is on the line in game one. And game one's all that matters uh, because, uh, you know, we got to try to do everything we can to play two ball games tomorrow. So uh, that's the bottom line. Our season's on the line tomorrow at 1 o'clock. We need to put together a good game. We need to compete for nine innings and find a way to win game one and force a game two. I have, I mean, obviously I haven't had a chance to think about that right now. Um, as soon as I get back into the locker room, we'll talk to the coaching staff and we'll name a starter. No, I don't think it is. Um, they did a good job of, you know, like Coach said, battling with two strikes, battling two outs. And so I wouldn't, wouldn't accredit it too much to them stepping out. As they just had a really good approach and they executed it. Yeah, it was tough. You know, we had uh, Bird uh, hit the triple there and um, was sitting at third base with one out. Wilkie did a really good job of getting himself in a good count to hit in a 3-1 count, and he lined out uh, to the first baseman. First baseman had to leave his feet to catch the ball. Uh, that was tough. You know, that would have that put us on the board right there. Uh, but, uh, you know, you got to give them credit. They're a great defensive ball club. Chris Williams, you know, smoked the ball late in the game there, pinch hit at bat, drilled the ball, uh, and, uh, you know, Coleman – um, who's a very, very good athlete, uh, made an outstanding play um, that would have scored us a run there too. So we had some tough luck, uh, but at the end of the day, it was about Vanderbilt starting pitching and their bullpen and their ability to extend innings with two outs and come up with, with big two-out hits and two-strike hits. So that was the story of the ball game, and that's why they won the game. Uh, yeah, he's out there. Um, sorry. Yeah, he's up there. Uh, you know, he's got a good mix of all his pitches. He throws them all for strikes and different counts. Um, and you know, he's you know he's the ace of a, a staff for a reason. He's got a, got a lot of good stuff. But we got to find a better game plan to compete um, and try and uh, you know try and string some, string together some good at bats uh, tomorrow because our season's on the line. But I think we'll uh, we'll bounce back and you know that's the only option. We got to be ready to go tomorrow. I mean, tonight sucks, but you can't dwell on it. Um, you know, tomorrow we're fighting for our lives. Tomorrow, you know, we're not promised anything except for one game tomorrow. We're promised nine innings for the rest of the season. And so I think you got to come out and, uh, you know, try to put together a, a, as, good a, as good of nine innings as you can. Um, you can't look forward. You can't look behind. you got to stay in the present moment and, uh, you know, compete every pitch and stay in that moment and appreciate the opportunity we have. Um, and, that's, you know, that's the way we gotta, that's the way we got to go about it. Well, I haven't had a chance to think about my lineup for tomorrow until I know who the starting pitcher is, um, who we're facing. Um, and obviously, I'll you know, give it some thought through tonight uh, and in the morning as far as you know, kind of what we want to do lineup-wise for tomorrow. Well, we just, you know, we got to get our guys in bed and get them rested and get them ready to go. Um, you know, it's a short turnaround, but I think our guys understand the sense of urgency. Uh, I think they understand uh, that, you know, whether we get uh, a little bit of sleep or a lot of sleep or we get, you know, a couple meals in us or not, and, you know, at the end of the day, we got to go play. Uh, so we're definitely not going to use it as an excuse. I think, I think adrenaline and competitiveness will take care of that. Uh, so um, I think we'll be fine. I don't, I don't think our ball club with the short turnaround and the fact that we're fighting for our lives uh, to play two ball games is, is going to affect us in any sort of negative way. We just got to go play. He said it. He said it all. <laughs>